Let's catch up with the last big update. Here are 10 new tips and tricks for Canva. Let me show you how you can write your text on Arc like this in Canva. So let's click text on the left and add a new text box. With the text like this, we can now apply effects. Head to effects and then scroll down. We don't need a style, what we need is a shape effect. In this case, curve shape and your text will be like this, but we can control the curve. Take a look, there's a slider here. So we're controlling this curve. So it can go all around the circle this way, everything in between until the straight text and then we can bend it other way around, all the way up around the circle. All right, so maybe you just need a slightly curve up, that's it, or slightly curve down. You don't need to go all the way to the circle. So that's how you do it. Simply apply the shape effect in the effect menu. Keep in mind, you can still apply regular shadows or other visual effects on the top of that shape effect. You can also do the old fashioned rotation to alter how the text curve down. How can we create A4 document in Canva? Select print from the top menu. And from here you will see uh, sizes. In my case, I was lucky the A4 is here and this is the portrait one. You can scroll to the right to see more formats. And of course, we can always make a custom size as well. In that case, scroll to the bottom and select custom size. Change units to millimeters and for a portrait we can go with 210 times 297. That's your classic portrait A4. If you need a landscape, and that's very important, if you're on the free version of Canva you cannot flip it. So you need to start the document with the right position. So if you want landscape, you just flip those numbers. So you start with 297 times 210. And that will be A4 again, this time in the landscape. Click create new design. And here we are. Of course, we can still use the design tab to apply different templates. Everything from flyers, posters to certificates, you can simply search for them or describe what you need at the top. Keep in mind, if you want a portrait now instead of landscape, if you click resize at the top, they will let you know that this is the pro feature. You need Canva Pro for that. So instead of resizing, you will have to make a brand new document. So again, you need to put the custom size and just flip those two numbers. 210 times 297, create new design. And that's our A4 portrait. And before that we make A4 landscape. So that's how we can make a perfect A4 size in Canva. Just keep in mind, make it right in the first go because the resize feature is the premium one. Let me show you how we can add a page number to Canva document. It can be a printable document with multiple pages or a slideshow like this one. Head to the text menu on the left and search for dynamic text. We need to scroll a bit lower here. Dynamic text, that's the one we're going to use. With the dynamic text, we can decide how we want to number the pages. Numbers only, or you want some kind of special format like page plus number or page two out of 10. So we can choose the style here. I'll use the last one. That's a really common one for slideshows. And do you want to skip any page from numbering? Like sometimes we like to skip the title page or the last one. So you can uncheck them here. So let's skip the page number one. It's just for a title, no content on it. All right. And then I click done. And now I got button to apply this numbering to all of my existing pages. I can click on that. All right. And let's head to page number two. And I can see it here. As you remember, I skip numbering on page number one. So it's it was added automatically at the bottom right corner, but I'm free to move it around. So I can move it around. I can modify the color of the text. It will follow your theme by default. So as you can see, in my case, it's green. So that's pretty good. But you are free to change the color to like very light gray. We can increase the size of the text or decrease the size of the text as well. 
but you must remember that right now we already added all of those dynamic texts so if you want to make changes you will be just changing the one on that certain page but you can right click on the one we just edited and copy style from it this way i will be able to just click on the one here and i can do the same thing here that can be helpful to quickly move style of one text to another in addition we can select the text we edited so we got this modified version let's modify it even further so we see this totally new version so blue bold and really large and now i'm moving this to the top i don't want to copy this style page by page so instead of doing that i click on that the text is selected i go back to page numbers in dynamic text section and i click this again apply properties to all pages and now now this style position and font will be copy here page number six out of 13 so i can do it with just one click or you can modify the local one for example this one is all the way here at this green color so only for this slide i move it down all other slides will keep it in the same position at the very top all right so that's how you can do it just simply head to text dynamic text and if you want to make changes to all of them you need to kind of go back here and click apply properties to all pages once more but you can make changes only on certain pages if you like to modify only certain page numbers let me show you how to place an image inside an image frame in canva you head to elements there is a special group called frames when we can put images inside those different shapes so select the shape you like by clicking on it and then position on your page you can scale it up and down and then then it's time to put the image in if you open the short menu actually you cannot see the command for putting the image in what you need to do is to simply drag and drop that image so let's say you uploaded photo or selected photo from the elements group and now now you are ready to just grab the image and drag it on the shape then the image will be clipped inside that shape how can we take the image out Click three dots in the pop-up menu there will be option to detach image now the image is out again we can grab a picture and drag it in it will be cropped in that special shape called a picture frame let me show you how we can bring an image to the front in canva so here's my image and now it's behind two other images there are several ways of reordering your objects you can right click on the image search for layer and there will be option to bring forward or bring all the way to the front click on that and here it is now we bring this image to the front alternatively we can select the image and click position at the top you should see your layers here on the left and from here you can just drag the layer up to be in front of other layers now it's at the very top so it will be in front of everything you can also drag in the opposite direction make it behind other objects and that's actually the method i recommend just click on the object and select position to see the layer panel on the left and then drag your objects up and down in the layer panel you can still open the secondary menu and send something all the way to the back at the bottom or all the way to the top let me show you how easy it is to create an email design in canva after the last update you will see a new email format here on the left on the main page click on that and from here you can start designing on this blank canvas or like always you can use the design panel on the left to choose design or describe the design for ai use and generate this so let's head with some very simple and straightforward designs like this one so we got a pretty good start plenty of text we got some pictures and of course now we can switch to elements tab and we can drag in whatever else we need now there are so many elements that they're all grouped in categories so if you need to put the chart here or a button you can just open the correct category 
take a look we got buttons and you can just drag it in here it is you can name the button and then you can put the link on it so it's clickable in your email in your mailing click done and position your button on your design you can make it very large or a bit smaller and you can drag it around keep in mind you can modify color in any given moment nowadays you got gradients at the bottom click see all some of them are from left to right some of them are from the top to the bottom there are a few diagonal ones as well so just try a few and pick the one you like the most there's also a separate color for the stroke around the button and like always we can decide how thick the stroke will be you can kick the stroke out completely if you don't like it all right so now you can kind of change everything in this design it is a simple canva editing like always you can even send the test email to yourself so you can click the top button here you can send this mailing as the test email to yourself and see how it is and you can also make changes make sure that all of the links are live and if you are ready there's also the share button here when you can actually send out the email to your mailbox or any other integrated mail list so it's really really solid it's almost like you can do everything within canva nowadays after the last update let me show you how you can apply a gradient on your text after the last update it's a really simple process now simply select a text or add a new text using the text panel after that head for text color at the top menu like before you will see solid colors first but if you scroll all the way down now we can see gradients you only see some of them so click see all and as you can see we got a large selection of gradients some of them go from left to right some of them go from the top to the bottom or also diagonally like this so select the gradient you like and here it is if the gradient is not applying you can try to select the text so the text is highlighted like that and it will solve that problem here it is it's a golden gradient or silver one and that's how easy it is after the new update so simply click on the text box text color scroll all the way down click see all and select the gradient you like let me show you how you can flip your text in canva if you are dealing with regular graphic object when you click on it you can see the flip option straight away but the question is how can we do something like that with a text so with editable text the flip option is not here we can still rotate but the flip option is not here so in order to flip the text we need to rasterize it we need to save your text as an image to do that quickly we can click on the text and then we can click share at the top right we don't need to download and then drag it back in we can click here see all options and there's something like copy to clipboard click on that all right now we need to click the button to do that and here it is it's in our clipboard so if i paste this somewhere right click paste i will see the very same page with the text on it but this time everything is an uh, image so this time i can use the flip menu i can flip horizontally or vertically and as you can guess we can do some cropping to it so it will be a bit easier to manage so actually i recommend to click crop before you start flipping so we can crop only to that text that you really need all right here it is and now now this is a regular image based on our earlier text so we can flip it as we want the only downside of this is that we cannot really edit the text anymore keep in mind it's just an image all right so that's how you can flip the text you cannot do it on the live text you need to turn it into an image before you can flip it let me show you how you can print out your design in canva when you hit files at the top left you may notice the print option is missing so we cannot currently print out directly from canva menu here so recommended action is to download a pdf of your design first so instead of this menu head to the right side click share and you will see option to download 
PDF is a really good and print friendly format. So I will stick with PDF and simply click download. And then, then your Google Chrome can open this PDF in the new tab, like in my case. And from here, you will see there's a print button. Here it is, top right corner as well. And if you got any special software for opening PDFs, there will be a print button there somewhere as well. All right, so just keep that in mind. We need to download our design. I recommend PDF and then print that PDF. You cannot print directly from the editor just yet. Let me show you how we can space objects in Canva. First, we need to select objects. So we need more than one in our selection. Let me try to select all three in one go, just like that. And then we got this group option. Click those three dots more. And you have alignments and also spacing. We can use the automatic spacing called tidying up, but this can be hit and miss. Take a look. Okay, so it's put all in the working area and try to tidy it up, but maybe that's not what you want. I'm going to undo. Let's explore another option. We can space it horizontally. Like that, we got equal spaces even though the objects are misaligned, but we can also align them. So we can add a medium alignment just like that. And now it's way easier to see that we got correct spacing. We can do the very same thing if we got objects like that in the vertical manner. So again, go for group options, not for the top toolbar. Group, we can space it now vertically. And of course, we can also align this to the center like that. And this way you can very quickly have equal spaces between multiple objects. If you've got troubles with that, try pairs, like select two objects first, so you can check out these options and understand them a bit better. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.